there's some kids in their 20s that have some pretty badass podcasts. They're talking about things. Welcome back to episode four of Conversations with Robin Liu. Yes. And um, this is Robert. I'm Louie. Yep. Uh, you can call us Robin Liu, though. I think. We can. We don't really call each other that. <laughs> no, we don't. But uh, the viewers can call us that. Yes. All right. Yes. So. So you can start with. Let's uh, start with the card. The Let's cards. see. Well. That's good. And okay. Oof, geez, this is a what very is what card is it? Very political. It is the really? nine of spades. That's awesome. I love that it's political. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> this is good. Would you rather so that sort of thing? Okay. Change gender every time you sneeze, or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby. Wow. Very interesting and weird. That is really both of those are so dangerous. Yeah. I wonder. What it means by I've, change gender. Does it literally mean it biologically or just like you would feel the other way? Yes. That is very, <laughs> that is a political part of it. Yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> let's, interp let's interpret it uh, scientifically and say okay, you, you literally, physically change. You yeah. physically change gender. That yes. would be crazy. You'd have to wear. Fortunately, I don't sneeze that often. And I feel like I, was gonna say, I, I have could use this to my advantage. Right. But yeah. I have allergies, so it would be, bad, be for bad for you. You wear yeah. you have to wear very loose fitting clothes. Ima no, imagine if you were pregnant <laughs> oh and you God. sneezed. Yeah, yeah. What would You'd happen? really have to time out when you have the babies. <laughs> <So> would... <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> that know would what. Be bad. Yeah, I, yeah. I I'm guess yeah. I, I, this is a magic sort of thing. Maybe the baby just disappears temporarily. Goes to, to another a, realm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so switch dimensions yeah. or something. No. I don't sneeze that often, so I think that when I wanted to change, I could just rub some pepper on my nose and. Sure, swap sure. right over i'm pretty sure i would definitely take that because i'm not yeah. i don't want to eat a baby in starbucks you know, I don't... <laughs> eat a baby but... yeah so oh oh you yeah, can't, yeah you yeah, confuse yeah, them yeah. with a muffin yeah right that's weird like that would be way too dangerous yeah what the hell like that's even like a that's such a big thing to mess up that would be a really big, like, like big what, what sort of other what sort of <laughs> comorbidities would, be, yeah. would you have like what sort of mental disability do you have if you can't Tell like the size of a baby and the size of a muffin is just so different. That would be really bad. Like, yeah, maybe no. from a distance. If you'd have bad pre depth perception, or I think if but... we're changing genders when we sneeze, we gotta not even realize when we're right up there that it's a baby or a muffin. I think oh, when you're cradling it's your baby, you're just holding a muffin. Holy shit! Yeah. So granted, okay. I'd rather, I'd rather magically change genders than be so unaware of Insane, reality yeah no i think not tell the difference potentially i think the biggest issue with that with the baby muffin thing yeah. is when you have kids you would be so fucked because yeah. you wouldn't know where your baby was or oh, would it be like muffin potentially what you could do is keep muffins out of the house right no muffins. and wait until that thing grows up and it's not a baby anymore yeah and that you know potentially that could solve the issue right yeah but that's still a big problem like it's a big can problem. you not even see his face like i don't even think it you can see like a muffin face. yeah like well, no. If I can hold this closer. You can see its face. You can see them, right? You just can't tell the difference they between the two. Like they don't look like a muffin. They don't look like a muffin. Because I get Because yeah. then maybe muffins would look like babies. Yeah, it's like it's like being colorblind, where like the colors look the same. Yes, but you still see. You still see a color. Colors. It's just yeah, I don't green. know how that would work. That it's, would be no, very. Colorblindness is weird because it's like I, I don't have it, but like I think the idea is that you still see red and green. Yeah. Like, like that's the common one is red, green, color colorblindness, and like. I think the idea is that you still see a color. It's just like your red and your green both look like red, or they both look like green. Yeah, it's weird. Like they're not gray. But the thing is, that's not changing anything's shape. Yeah. Like the muffin is just—I mean, this it's is a magical, completely so. different shape from a baby, and like it's moving. And that would that mean that muffins look like <sighs> they're moving, shit. or babies would always be stationary? I don't know. That's It'd a be weird strange. Thing. Yeah. But uh, I—I'd have to choose. Best probably the gender one the gender if, one just messes up less stuff like yeah i think i would get a surgery like that what stops about other me pastries from, <laughs> i'd get a surgery that stops me from sneezing <laughs> and then i would just sneeze when i wanted to i'd get a sne yeah. sneeze conversion therapy a sneeze conversion <laughs> therapy yeah <laughs> i think it could potentially be a useful tool i, I think it could it, definitely yeah it's you the only one that, that benefits me yeah, like you can use it to your advantage other yeah than, oh, other yeah. than just not knowing the difference between a pastry and a human being imagine that you rob a bank <laughs> As a man, and you run out and you sneeze. Also, does it like yeah, 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 and then you look different, right? Does it preserve like, yeah, like if you if if you I shove money up your butt, does it 
yeah, or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know. Does it just take it to the pocket dimension? Or I want to say yeah. You get taken into the pocket dimension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. I think this that's is, this is a good card. This reminds me of um, sort of like a game theory thing that I think about sometimes, where yeah. it's kind of bad when a game has like, you know, like every sort of game or like thing that you could do has like a sort of potential for how good you can get at it, and like the sort of like. Wait, where the what has a potential? Any game or like. Um, oh, okay. Like a board game, video game. Or yeah, like, yeah. Even like like f fields of study and stuff like that. Yeah. Where you can get better at it, and people sort of like compete to get better, and improve yeah. at it. But an issue with a lot of games and board games and stuff like that is that the way to get better is to sort of exploit the oh, weaknesses okay. of it. Okay, use the glitches. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what this card is. Yeah, or doing like glitches now. and like unintended <laughs> things that they don't like, they, they leave up to chance. <laughs> We're like this. Yeah, for I think of, that's yeah. exactly what's happening. And it reminds me of that one of the games. I don't know if they can see behind. We have like sort of like a shelf of board games. Oh, they can see it, yeah. Yeah, one of them is, like, Super Fight or whatever. Yeah. And it's a really cool idea of, like, you get cars where you can, like, kind of make your own abilities for a superhero and they fight or whatever. But a big problem in it is that it leaves too much up to interpretation, so you can kind of just... Well, that's kind of the point. You're supposed to be able to yeah. make the superhero as strong as you want. Like, it, yeah. that's where you come in instead of just, oh, right, I, right, I right. drew the best cards and I won. I know. Yeah. yeah. But like, the issue is that the optimal way to play, like, the... In a competitive setting, yeah. if you're trying to be the best possible at that game, you just say, you know, this power lets my character do whatever. Do something I want. incredible, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, knowing a lot about physics and chemistry probably helps a lot. With that. One time <laughs> yeah. we were playing and you did something. <laughs> did I, I forget say? exactly what it was, but you could destroy the universe because oh, you could move atoms or something. It was like, could, yeah, no, it was something like your character can uh, manipulate. manipulate magnets. I think. Yeah, and I was like, everything is based on electromagnetism. You can yeah. just destroy stars. So. Like, yeah. But yeah, um, that game is a little flawed. I think. It is, yeah. But I think a lot of stuff suffers from that. Yeah. But this card doesn't. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, kind of a little. Kind of. But yeah. I guess we'll just, we'll just leave it there. But we'll leave it at that. Final answer. Change genders for me. Me too. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, it's just that's not that much of a negative. Like it's inconvenient, but. But the baby the thing baby is, is too so weird. You, you're a murderer. You're just you can't even see things. Yeah. yeah. You might just eat a baby. <laughs> yeah. That's now. Bad. This is completely off the topic of yes. superheroes and powers and whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it kind of ties into what we were talking about last podcast. It's also about Rome. And it's something that I really am adamant about. Gladiator arenas. I was I was thinking of this because yeah. the Floyd Mayweather fight just happened. Oh my God. And we watched them fight and neither Floyd of them Mayweather got knocked out. Not very it was a long time ago. It was like five years ago. Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, is that? Oh wait, no. Uh, I think Mayweather with Pacquiao. Never mind. Yeah, no. I thought it, Floyd was the name of. No, uh, yeah. The Floyd Mayweather Logan Paul fight yes, just happened. Yeah. Uh, Logan Paul lost, but here's the thing. I thought that while they were fighting, mm -hmm. the judge or the ref or whoever he was was really breaking them up a lot of the time. I think that's how it works. Yeah. I know, but yeah. And in the end, neither of them got knocked out. Right. It just kind of went down to decision, and they said, oh, Logan Paul, you lose. Floyd yeah. Mayweather, you win. Yeah. And I really would have liked to see what would happen if you just put those guys in a ring right. and said, go. Yeah. I think that actually does, that ties into what I was saying before about the um, the like optimal way to play. Yeah. And I think Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather just found the best way to play is to just be really cautious and just get the points and I tire agree. out your opponent and stuff. I agree. But it I makes it much so. less interesting. Yeah, than it was a gladiator like, fight. It was not nearly <laughs> as interesting as I had hoped it would be. I mean, it was right. it was fine. Like it was people yeah. punching each other. All right, I, honestly, I, res that. I respect that he does that. Like in a yeah, I mean, very public fight, he's use just, like, the rules of the game to your wins. advantage. But yeah. I want a cooler game. Right. right. I want gladiator arenas. Yeah. I think that they had them back in Rome. And last episode we talked about legalizing murder. I think right. that even if you don't legalize this murder just, this is just the rome podcast family. this is the rome the rome <laughs> podcast yeah <laughs> conversations with rome and lou all right <laughs> that's good no so yes you don't have to even legalize murder for it all you have sure, to do sure. is legalize suicide and assisted suicide yeah and yeah. i think that then at that point like both of the people just consent to committing su assisted suicide by the other mm -hmm. and you have a gladiator arena right there yeah it would be different cuz i think gladiators were like slaves who I think a lot of the time they were, yeah. And I think it was like their chance to, to do be free. something great or whatever. But free, I, yeah, I right. think that a lot of people would fight today. I think, yeah. A non-zero number. A non-zero number. And that's really all we need, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we stream it. We don't need people fighting in everyone's yeah. backyard. You really just need one or two fights to have it be like a big... Really, really... Yeah. I think that would take off so quickly. Yeah. I think that would make so much money and people would really enjoy it. 
Mm-hmm. And even I think the people fighting would really people enjoy would be grossed it. Grossed out by it. Like people would. Some people would be, be grossed a big out. Outrage. It would have to be a pay per view. Yeah. Yeah. Pay per view. Yeah. Um, like dark web or something. Yeah, dark. Well, I bet that kind of stuff exists already. Oh God, yeah. Gladiator arenas <laughs> probably exist already, but I want like a, a legal one. A legal thing. Yeah. I want in a place where it's legal, a grand so. arena, like the Coliseum. Grand I arena. want to see them use the Coliseum Holy in a gla- in a gladiator. That's arena. not happening. That would be so cool. That would be pretty crazy. Do you think within the next hundred years? If will we reach a point where we realize like it's okay? I don't think that's gonna happen. Really? I think we're going the other direction, honestly. Really? Of people being less okay with anything. Are you and sure? Just... Or didn't Oregon just legalize all drugs or I think decriminalize drugs. all drugs? They did, yeah. Yeah. You don't think that once people try that, they'll good. be like, Oh, it's okay to have gladiator to kill arenas. Each other. Not to to, to allow not people, to murder other people. To but let people kill each to other. To let people kill each other if yeah. they want to fight. Yeah, I think it's a big leap. I think it's a big leap. I think because psychedelics and stuff like that and like a lot of drugs have you know therapeutic benefits even like heroin or something yeah it is a painkiller and if it's used responsibly it's not that bad but the problem with letting people kill each other is like everyone enjoys it but it's still kind of just like a um hedonistic you know what that means like yeah that is like a, like a roman thing actually or like a greek i think so yeah it's like a I think it's like a not believing in God kind of thing. Like you're a heathen. You're, you're not. Yeah. According, so you basically just think you're not going according to like Bible law. Yeah. You just yeah. Like, like like good feelings are the only thing that's important or whatever. And I think oh, that's yeah. I guess watching people kill each other is kind of like a, a rich person yeah. thing of just like let the peasants just kill <laughs> each really other is. for my pleasure. Yeah. It really is. No, but <laughs> to be fair, in Rome, one time the emperor fought. Oh, okay. The okay. emperor he put on lion's mane cloak and. He fought in the gladiator arenas, and huh. I think he won. I'm pretty sure he won. I would hope he won. Yeah. I think so. I'm I'm sure it was rigged, but that's not the point. It was probably there was probably some of that. But, I'm sure there was a lot of like yeah. uh, rigging. And, like, yeah, as soon as the gladiator is fighting him, steps to betting, one side. Uh, you were betting gold on it. Trap door opens and yeah, a lion yeah. pops out and Actually, eats him. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> you and the viewers really need to read Dune. I because there's you said this. Yeah. Yes, there's a part in there with gladiator stuff where it is rigged. Okay, that. That sounds cool. Yes. Now it's that honestly, I know that. It's honestly a pretty small part. Like, it's not like the main story, but it is a really good book. Because it's like, it's. I think it's supposed to be kind of like Rome, where it's like, it's like it's like a futuristic thing, but it's kind of, um, like, they kind of regressed back to, like, kings and Yeah, like, and okay, like that. that sounds cool. That sort of thing. But That's it's like, a... with, it's with like lasers and, like, magic, or not magic, but like. I will get to Dune at some magic. point. I will get yes. to Dune. The viewers should get to Dune. <laughs> Not yet. So done your very long reading list. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. But I think that if we made them legal, which we should, yes, people would really enjoy it, and it'd be a ton of fun, make a lot of money. I just don't see a problem with it. Like I don't yeah. see like who's like who should morally? stand in our way. Yeah. Who? Why do? Why can people stand in our way and I stop think, this? I think the issue. I think morally, if the two people are okay with killing each other yeah. or dying, I think that's fine. I mean, I think, you know... Morally, yes. That makes I sense. think really, like, they probably aren't as okay with it as they might, like, sign on a form. But yeah. that's beside the point. I agree. I think the issue is that it's too easy to rally people against... Like, say you start doing this in a country or whatever where it's legal. Yeah. I feel like people in other countries are like are going to be like, look at this horrible thing these people are doing. Let's rally against them and, like, storm the Coliseum or whatever. I think it's too easy to rally people around... Like against, so you wait, you think that if we legalized it in the United States, United States yeah. that people from other countries would come here and try to shut us down? Well, I was thinking like like a small country, or something. like but like yeah. oh, okay. with even like if it's in the U.S. or something within the U.S., people are going to be like hating on it and just like that makes me wonder. I wonder if there terrorism. is a country where it is legal. Out of all the know. countries in the world, out of the entire world. I don't think any place with like a centralized government is going to allow that sort of thing. I don't know. Rome had one. Rome had a very centralized government. Yeah, but that's just like an old, like... Yeah, it's more, maybe it's more of an archaic days, thing. Any sort of com- mm. like government connected to the internet is going to be able to like... Do you think that there that may be some more primitive tribes somewhere, maybe in Africa or South America, that just haven't had a ton of technology enter them? And I maybe think, there's some kind of yeah. ritual where people can fight, not like a full-on gladiator arena with oh, shows like and stuff. Oh, like a religious sort of thing? Not even religious. Just well, like a... Just, yeah. I mean, perhaps religious, but more, maybe more like a way to settle beef between people in the tribe. Right. I yeah, bet that um, could be a thing. Because like, like it is yeah. a thing with like drugs where um, 
you know, in some like like uh, religious ceremonies, where yes. you're allowed to use like mushrooms or whatever. In the United States, or in... yeah, in the United States, wow. yeah, like in I don't really? know, in every state, but like definitely, um, really, with like the Native American stuff with the peyote, I think it's legal hmm. if they're using it religiously. Wow, yeah, everything I so, do is religious. All I'm saying, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we don't have like a. Um, I'm sure you need like you need a license or something. License no, religion. that's dumb. But no, yeah. I'm sure there's some tribes where they they still settle things by like fights to the death, and this is sort of just like a bending of that rule. And we even used to have that in the United States. If you ever watched Alexander Hamilton or listened to the audio version? No. Well, the viewers probably did. So you guys know that he died in a duel. Right. Yeah. So we used to have that not that long ago. We had duels. And this is a duel pay for view. I don't know where we went wrong, but we got rid of that at some point. Yeah. So I think people just think it's too barbaric and stuff like that. I guess, but I think it solved a lot of issues. I wonder, I think, like, like duels to the death turned into like boxing and wrestling and stuff, which is kind of lame. Like, which is I've, lame, but it's more like like watching modern. that boxing match really made me realize, man, yeah. they they've got these gloves on, they can't hit each other in the back. What's this, going on? I'm sure there's a. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm sure there's like a dystopian like movie or something or book about people. You know, like the wrestling just isn't good enough. People need like the the real. And there's killing. a dystopian book about it. <laughs> I know, I know, like like a futuristic thing, like where what happens in it. That's. You know, like, uh, there's a lot of dystopian stuff where, like, it's, they, like, society goes too far. Like from, Hunger like, Games or something. Yeah, Hunger Games. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I'm trying to think, like, there's, there's just a few genre books where it's, like, dystopian, where it's, like, futuristic, but it's, like, they've just gone too far from what people want, and people need, like, outlets or something like that. Like Hunger Games, maybe, like, where they have people of, Yeah, where they have, it's like basically that. a big gladiator arena, except yeah, that's it's really thing. intricate. Yeah. 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 I would probably not opt for something like that. I would want something more close oh. quarters. I don't want to watch people sleep in a you tree. You want like a privatized thing? Not like a private. No. Or, I mean, well, sure. Yeah. Obviously, yes. I don't want the government to mandate no, yeah. gladiator fights between people. <laughs> but between districts. I was yeah. thinking more so like just a smaller ring. Like mm. it can be large. It can be like oh, I see. Yeah. a couple hundred yards, like the size of a football field or something. So they have plenty of space to run around. Yeah. The size of a Coliseum. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. Not literally Hunger Games. Yeah. But the same sort of thing of like. People aren't like wrestling isn't good enough. People need. I agree. I don't know if that's dystopian yeah. or utopian though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I know. we might be in a dystopian place where, yeah, like all the entertainment, like you know, we had these gladiator arenas yeah. at one point, and now I'm watching on this screen, right. some guy is getting tackled by Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul, and he's like hitting him in the back, mm-hmm. and the ref comes and says, "Oh no, break it up, you yeah. two. Right. This isn't that kind of fight." Yeah. And I'm it like, what the? System. What are we watching? Like, I thought we were watching mm-hmm. these guys do it. And yeah, they're fighting. That's, that's not what they're doing. Yeah. They're just they're playing a game that has they're, they are playing very strict game. rules. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, I think it made me want to watch MMA because I am curious. MMA, not, yeah, I don't think MMA I've actually true. watched MMA yet, not. ever. Yeah. It seems a little bit too like maybe not gross, but like I, I'm not a big fan of like the fighting stuff. But okay. I think yeah, it probably if you want more real fighting. Well, the fighting MMA stuff is, is the only sport that I'm really interested in. Like I've not, yeah. I'm, I'm not, not huge on soccer or football yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not much of a sports person really. But I think if I could get into a sport, I would be all in on gladiator arenas. I would follow that. I would yeah. know who the big guys were. I mean, honestly, now that I think about it, MMA is pretty close. It's kind of close. Like it's not a fight to the death, but it's like. They it's can kind do of close. I think a large lure of the gladiator arenas <laughs> is that they could have weapons. Right. And they could do so many more interesting things. Like a lion could pop up. And yeah, it's like, they what, have, like fights and stuff. What can nine Dolphins. guys do with knives versus a lion? Right. And also the chariots yeah. and stuff. And the chariots. Yeah. And, and we definitely the, don't have that. Story. They filled the Coliseum with water one time and had ships battle in it. Holy shit. It was cool. That seems impossible. Like, it was cool. They just sealed it off. Wow. It was possible, yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. We could do that kind of stuff. That almost seems like an urban, or like not a religion. No, that's like, a real thing. It yeah. seems like a myth, but no. It seems like a myth, That's yeah. real, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Jeez. No, it's very cool. And nowadays, I mean, on our college campus, the closest thing we had to that was people got in canoes in the pool <laughs> and had buckets of water and tried that's to sink cool. the other. That's I mean, cool. no, that's cool. But, but that's silly. I yeah. want the ships to crash yeah. and the people to jump on board so with sorry. their swords. I'm kind of changing the subject, but yeah. I just thought... The, we, we, I think we're mostly done talking We're about done, this. yeah. I was just thinking about myths and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I was watching, watching this Lord of the Rings video about... It was honestly before I started reading it, and part of what it made me think it was cool. Yeah. They're talking about how the Silmarillion and stuff like that is kind of written more as like a mythos. Yes. Because definitely. I think the idea is... Like a backstory is that, kind of thing. Yeah. It, it's more like a... um, It's written more in like a kind of like magical, like mystical sort of thing because... 
I think something Lord of the Rings really does is like <clears throat> stuff like in the past is kind of like embellished because it's like uh, passed down as like an oral tradition, like um stories yeah. and stuff like that. And I think that's pretty realistic that like, you know, maybe, you know, like they didn't actually fill the whole Coliseum or something and they did this or that. But over time, people embellished it and made it sound like it was, yeah. you know, battleships fighting or something like that. That's that's very possible. And it's really cool to read Lord of the Rings thinking that like, <laughs> Maybe it's not really happening like that. It's sort of just like people embellished over time because it's like a legend. You're right. In Rome, it was probably just yeah. guys in canoes filling up the other canoes with buckets of water. Yeah, it's I mean, probably the exact might, same thing they were doing. That, yeah. It might have been. No, I think they were really fighting to the death. I'm, I'm sure they were. But, but like, in Lord of the Rings, yes, that is interesting. And even, yeah. Yeah. Um, I know that in the movies, there is not much magic. Like I've noticed that. Right. And perhaps, I mean, probably in the books as well. But There's been a little bit, but yeah. You made it sound like in the Silmarillion, maybe there was more magic. Because that's something um, I always wished when I was I, watching I the movies. If anyone's but, a Lord of the Rings fan, yeah. you're welcome, because we're we, about to talk we're, about yeah, it. Yeah, we're <laughs> budding Lord of the Rings fans. <laughs> we're, we're big Lord of the Rings fans, yes. yes. Um, we, we haven't, like, I, I've just started reading the first book. And I don't think Robert... How much I've not... I read, like, the first 50-ish pages of the first book. I read The Hobbit. Okay. Um, but mostly Hobbit. I've just watched the movies and watched a lot of... And read some stuff like online and watched some yeah. more videos. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've I've just started reading, so I'm gradually getting into like the, like I'm, 370 pages in to the fellowship, which okay, is pretty. So far. You're, yeah, you're a ways in. I'm how, the part where how long is it? It's like 500. Oh, so you're more 600. than halfway done. Yeah, I'm most yeah. of the way through. Yeah, okay, or most, but like, I'm at the part where they're, um, deciding whether to go through Moria or not. Yeah. Not to spoil or anything. Not to spoil or anything. That, okay. that doesn't mean too much because Moria. That is actually like doesn't seem very far through. No, you would underestimate how long the um, the part they really rushed through that first part <clears throat> in the movie. Then, huh? It's crazy. Like as I was reading Jeez. the first part, yeah. I was like, "Holy shit!" They're going into so much detail about them walking oh, between, oh my God. like Hobbiton and Bree, and then Bree <laughs> to Rivendell is like so many pages. Because that's like a five ten minute scene. Like you see them on yeah. the road, and then the well, ring rates are chasing them. And also, they the get part there. with um, Tom Bombadil and stuff. Yeah, that is also takes yeah. up a bit. But anyway, we shouldn't get too deep into those things because people. Some people might. Some people might. Some, yeah. If they care about gladiators, I think sure. they're going to care a bit sure. about Lord of sure. the Rings. Sure. Like anyone who wants to see that. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But yeah, I guess something, something general to people is that like, it is really cool the way he just describes really things, like everything in depth where you can really imagine them, you know, walking through these like cliffs and like, you're making me want to read this. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like it's, it's, it takes a while to read. Like I've been reading it for like a month or two. Okay. I think I might have to start it. I've been reading like nonstop or anything, but it is just really cool how he like, Describes it in enough detail where you can really imagine them doing it. Like, I think it that's, seems real. That's perhaps why it was such a great movie. Like, they mm -hmm. had a good director, Peter Jackson, and he really probably yeah. pined through those books, right. took out all the key points, and especially the scenery and stuff. I mean, yeah. what movie is more beautiful than Lord of the Rings? Right. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, it really, yeah. Like, it's not like the scenery is the same as in the book, but it's like, yeah, the book it's not really exactly is, the same, but like, the book is basically the same in terms of. Just really letting you see the like image. It gave them a really great vision to go with for the movie. Yeah, and I think that really most cool. of the time when someone's making a movie, they don't have years to come up with the set. Right. Like they spend, you know, a decent amount of time on it. Yeah. And a lot of movies have some cool sets. Yeah. But Lord of the Rings goes above and beyond. It's crazy. Like it, it's yeah. also really unique so, in that like or, or go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. It's really unique in that like most movies aren't about people just like journeying through the world. Yeah. Like that's such like a weird That's like, that's I know, as I'm reading it, I'm like most of this book is just them talking about them like traveling. Yeah, it's just so cool. Like, no movies are about that, but like, they That's just true. Yeah, a lot. Like, if you yeah. think about the other big stuff, like Harry Potter, like they just spent most of their time in Hogwarts. Yeah, if they're traveling, they're, one like, castle, one around. set. Yeah. yeah. Huh. But I guess really Star Wars just... kind of is them. They travel through the galaxy. Yeah. Well, they, no, but like the difference is that like, they're going to different locations. Yeah. I guess Lord of the Rings is a little bit like that. Like, definitely the books are a lot about them. They go from one location and just then, walking. Yeah. Like they spend. You know, 50 pages in Rivendell and then 100 yeah. pages walking, walking the from location. Rivendell to wherever. Yeah. That set them up for those great walking montages that they had. Yeah. Yeah. Which they did kind of just gloss over in the movies, if we're being and honest. And the thing is, you can't, yeah, you can't really have it be as interesting. Where they just walk. I mean, they have a couple a scenes where they do that. Yeah. But it is hard to do. But yeah. yeah, that would be tough. Because you need to have, like, the beats that keep the thing interesting for the Yeah. Audience. The problem is, like, the books are almost hard to read for some people. And for me. Included. It was tough for me. Because yeah. a lot of it yeah, is. I gave kinda... up on page 50, so. It, like it's a little bit like it, it could be seen as boring because it kind of is just them talking about the um the like the kinda, scenery the, the scenery and the things they're doing but, see like, that's what i was wondering because really... i always heard it was a yeah. little boring yeah. so when you've read this when they're walking from location to location is stuff happening that they just didn't bother putting in the movie 
Or are they literally just walking and he's explaining like what the trees look like? A lot of it is paragraphs about describing the scenery in detail. Like there's one part where they're going through, uh, what's the part? like the part I was just reading was they're like walking through the sort of like wilderness. It's kind of like barren. They're talking about like the color of the rocks and how mm. this one part of the road seems like it used to be crafted by men, but it was left in the rocks are like tumbling down and stuff okay and it's really going into detail detail about like what it seems like to the the um, people in the company okay that's cool i yeah. think it, it is just really cool like if you really buy into it yeah and like you don't mind just reading a lot of stuff that's not that interesting or like that that it isn't like that actiony i it think that explains really why it was such a great movie because they just yeah. condensed all of that and instead yeah. of having to spend a couple hours right. reading about it mm-hmm. all of that visual stimuli right and even yeah even if you don't have like the the stuff where they're talking about like the ancient elves and stuff like that, you still get kind of like the idea that there's just so much depth. There's so much to the, lore to the world. Yeah. yeah, there's so much depth to it. I think that's something they did really well with the movies. Yeah, the movies really like, that most of like most movies. Yeah. I see it and I'm like, all right, it's kind of just at the surface level, right? Because a lot of movies aren't actually based on books. When movies are based on books, oh, yeah. that's when you really get more yeah. to it. And when there are good adaptations, and when like, there are good adaptations yeah. like Lord of the Rings, Lord that's of the Rings it's a masterpiece. It is. It's crazy. It's yeah. like it really it doesn't take everything like. It's not like a one-to-one translation. Like, we're like, anime and manga, that sort yeah. of thing. One-to-one. They can kind of do that. Like, not always, but they kind of just fill in the gaps. of like Because the, the manga is kind of the same thing. Like, they're both animated. Sometimes... Or, yeah, manga is basically just like a cartoon strip. Yeah, where it's like, like, it's a drawing. They're both it's the drawings. Same, same art style, yeah. and it's just like... It's not anime, but yeah. Not anime. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but no, it's the same sort of art style. Animation can basically just, like, fill in the gaps. Whereas yeah. Lord of the Rings is like, there's no way you can make it one-to-one. Cover the whole movie. thing. Yeah. If it was a TV show potentially you could maybe i mean a lot of the, uh, the issue a lot of it is just yeah. explaining the scenery the bad thing about tv shows is that they have to have like an arc for every episode to get people watching. yeah they could do something like what they did with tenet it uh, might not be a good yeah. tv show right? right so what i think about tenet we, we should wait to talk, talk about okay, it more well, once you've seen it again yeah okay. but but currently yes. what i think about it is <laughs> bad movie it didn't make much sense i only saw it once but my thought on yes. it is that it's not so much trying to be a movie it's more so trying to be a work of art. Yes. And I guess I just have to see it multiple times to really appreciate it. Yeah. Because I've seen it three yeah. times now. Because I, I really thought it was cool the first time. But I definitely, after watching it a few times, I realized that, like, yeah, I agree with Robert. That, like, it's just not a very, it's not that watchable, almost. Like, the like, arc is kind of, yeah. Like since if, it's a weird time thing we're not going to explain, sure. we're not going to spoil it. Maybe we will in the other episode. The next but episode, in this we'll episode, we won't. We yes. didn't say spoiler alert we'll or anything. We'll have a spoiler yeah. warning on the next episode. We'll have a spoiler warning whatever, yeah. yeah. But the way they do the time thing is it just doesn't really allow for a normal movie arc. Yeah, because it's, it's just like a very convoluted. Yeah. But yeah, I think as if you watch it, like if you, when it came out or whatever, when people went to watch it in IMAX or whatever, they probably came out thinking, what the hell did I just watch? This made no sense. Yeah. And, and I, I think, think a, a lot of people thing. were probably expecting it to be like Inception. They're yeah. expecting something that was like, wow, that was a great movie. Yeah, it, it was like cool, but like, and I think they kind of did that a little bit. Like they tried to with the like, plane and things like I that. I started watching it and it seemed like, okay, this is pretty cool. But as it went on, I just got more and more confused. And I was like, yeah. they're not explaining what's going on. I think the issue is that it, it had too much of yeah. the confusing stuff. The Cambridge Inception where like, there's a little bit of confusing, but it was mostly just cool. Yeah. But I think Tenet had a lot of confusing stuff and not enough cool to keep people interested. But yeah, I think it's the sort of thing where if you watch it, like the second time you watch it, it starts to make more sense, and then the confusing parts kind of like become interesting. You understand, yeah. You're like, yeah. oh wow, that's You're gonna like, wow, come. This thing was gonna become relevant episodes. later. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can, I can. I just, that. Yeah. yeah. You should really watch it again and definitely be sober. I will definitely give it a chance. Yeah, I wasn't sober the first time I watched it. Being drunk or anything would make it yeah. very hard to understand. I it imagine. was insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and it looks like we're actually we're probably on a black screen already. Holy so, shit! Yeah. yeah. Well, right. that's the end of this episode. Yes. We have a lot to carry on in the next couple episodes. We do. It was Lord of the Rings, Gladiator Arenas, and yeah. Tenet. It's almost so good to have too much to talk about. I think that that is good. I also kind of, we should do longer episodes. We need to figure out the yeah. camera settings, yeah. yeah. We need to figure out. How to... I mean, really, we could literally just restart it manually. If we're doing one hour, one hour episodes. Yeah. We could. Uh, it's just, it just sounds tedious to edit. Then we have to have two to claps. Edit, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then we're like breaking up the conversation. Sure. Yeah. Anyways. That's an off the conver- off the podcast conversation. So it is no uh, meta talk. Yeah, don't forget <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do your duty. Um, <laughs> duty. We'll see you guys in don't the night. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Yes.